First thing we want to do on this problem is find our forces on A. So we, we in this problem we are looking at, let me get the pen, we are looking at the force on A. So we have C to A and we have B to A. And so we need to know our distance from B to A. Our triangle is has two equal sides so to find that we do 0.75 squared plus so that's 0.75 centimeters there so we have 0.75 times 0.75 if we convert this to meters so that's going to give us this side at 1.06 meters so C is 1.06 meters away from A I'm trying to make that look like an M so my force between A and C is equal to 8.99 times 10 to the ninth times 153 times 10 to the negative 6 times 16 times 10 to the negative 6 and divided by the distance between them which is 1.06 squared and that force is 19.59 newtons and so what C is going to do to A is push it this way they're both positive forces that is a repulsion force so they will be pushing away from each other so now the next thing is to find our force between A and B and so once again that's going to involve this triangle here and I need to be able to find this side here so that's 1.9 meters this is once again 0.75 so 0.75 square plus 1.9 square and that equals 2.04 meters that's our distance from A to B so that's going to give me 8.99 times 10 to the ninth times 312 times 10 to the negative 6 times 16 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by the distance between them 2.04 squared and that force is 10.78 newtons and that means B because both are positive pushes A this direction and so now what I want to do is let's see if this is going to work I, I want to take just this top part and work with it. So let's see if I can do just that. And there we go. So I have just this triangle, make it a little bit bigger. And so I have this triangle. And it, if, if I just isolate this, top part I, I, don't, I don't care about any of this down here that doesn't matter so I'm just going to isolate these two vectors and this is this is charge A so what is this vector going to do and what is this vector going to do so let's with when we have diagonals remember every diagonal has two components to it it has a vertical and a horizontal so what I want to do is I want to take these two here and can convert them so that I can put them together. So this is 19.59 newtons, and this vector is 10.78 newtons. So the next thing I need are the angles. I need this angle, and I need this angle. So let's go back to here. Well, this angle, let me draw my horizontal line through here. I know that's small, so that's why I'm doing it on another page. But this angle is equal to this one. These two sides are equal, so that is a 45 degree angle. These two sides are not equal. I need this angle and this angle. These two sides are not equal, so I need this angle. So this angle, I'm going to do the sine of the angle is equal to uh, 0 0.75 divided by 2.04 so when I do that math my angle is going to be 21.58 degrees so 
this angle is 21.58 degrees. So let's go back to here and let's label that. This angle is 45 and this angle is, let me put an arrow in there, this one is 21.58 degrees. So to find my x and y, I'm going to take this, I'm going to use, do that one, sorry. So to find my x, I do 19.59 times the cosine of 45, and that's going to give me 13.85. My y, since it's a 45 degree angle, is equal to that as well. So now I need to do, make this a little bit smaller. Now I need to do my other diagonal. My other diagonal, I have my x is 10.78 times the cosine of 21.58. Make sure I got that number right. Yes, I did. So 10.78 times the cosine of 21 is 10.02. And my y is 10.78 times the sine of 21.58, and that is equal to 3.97 newtons. So now I'm going to combine my x's and y's. My x's are equal to, I have 13.85, and that is this right here, minus 10.02, and that is this vector here. Since they're going opposite of each other, I subtract, so that's going to give me 3.83 newtons for my total x. Now I have a total x of 3.83 now I'm going to do my y's. My y's, I have 13.85, which is this vector here. Oops. Let's see if I can go straight up. This vector here for this one. And then I'm going to add to it 3.97, which is the y for the other vector, for this one. They're going the same direction, so I add them together and that's going to give me 17.82. If your decimal places are a little bit different, that's okay. Show me your work and I know what you're doing. So that's 17.82 newtons. So that gives me an up arrow on this one of 17.82. So now all I need to do is find the resultant of these two so I'm going to do 17.82 square plus 3.83 square, and that's going to give me a resultant of 18.22 newtons. And now I need to find the angle. And the angle, well, let's put that answer in here. That's 18.22. So my angle, I can use any of the three sides that I have. My angle. I'm just going to use sine again, so the sine of my angle is equal to 3.83 divided by the 18.22, and so my angle is going to be 12.13 degrees. If you do the cosine of that, which is perfectly fine, you'll get an angle that is equal to 77.87 degrees. And those two are the same thing, or that I do one angle here, or you do one angle here. It doesn't matter which one you get me. So my answer is 18.22 at 12.13 degrees. Let me circle that. It's a lot of work, but it's really nothing that we haven't done before. It's step by step. 
finding the vectors. So hopefully this video will help you stay on track with what we're doing.